It's Tasty Tuesday. Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. And if you follow our blog, by the way, if you don't, you should, www.myfab50slife.com. If you follow our blog, you know that we spent a couple of weeks recently in Iceland. What a surprising country. We had thought about going to Iceland for a long time and it never quite worked into our schedule. But when countries started opening back up, Iceland was one of the first countries welcoming Americans and we said, let's go, why not? So we just went for two weeks, had a wonderful time. It's absolutely gorgeous. And they have a very unique cuisine. It's very seafood intensive, um, but they also eat a lot of lamb. Uh, in fact, there are about 800,000 sheep on the island of Iceland, and there's only 323,000 people. So you'll see sheep everywhere when you're in Iceland. The other ingredient that is very prominent in their cuisine is potatoes. And today I'm gonna to show you the Icelandic version of a potato salad. Um, and i am tripled this recipe because I'm taking it to a potluck. So you can have or even uh, take it down by uh, two thirds, uh, the ingredients that I'm sharing with you today. It's super easy. It's not that much different from potato salad you might be familiar with, but it has two ingredients that are unusual, apples and curry. So let me share with you how to make an Icelandic potato salad cartoffel salat. Cartoffel salat. I don't know if I've said that right, but that's the word in Icelandic for potato salad. Um, we have here five pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I cooked them this morning. I let them cool and I peeled them and chopped them um, into bite-sized pieces. To that, I am adding nine um, hard-boiled eggs that I chopped and we had two different potato salads in Iceland. One of them had sweet gherkin pickles and one of them had dill. I'm using dill today because that's what I had in my fridge. I have six large dill pickles that I chopped. If you're using the smaller gherkins, I would suggest nine or 10, chop them up into bite-sized pieces. This is one yellow onion chopped. And then our unique ingredient, apples. I have Fuji apples from the state of Washington. You can use any kind of apples that you want. I chose to leave the skin on, that's up to you as well. When I chopped them, I covered them with some lemon juice so they wouldn't turn brown. I used five large Fuji apples. If your apples are smaller, I would use six or seven. Oh, this is a huge salad. We're going to big potluck, family potluck tomorrow. And this is going to be an Icelandic treat for my family to try. Okay, I'm just using my hands and I'm gonna mix this up and get, get it all. Oh my goodness, I think I might need a bigger bowl. And then I'm gonna come back in just a minute and I'll show you the dressing. So the salad comes together very quickly. I have in this bowl, two cups of mayonnaise, two cups of sour cream, the juice of one whole lemon, and now I'm going to add this interesting ingredient of curry. Now I've had an apple curry salad before. It's actually a pretty nice combination. So um, I think that having the apples in this potato salad really makes um, adding the curry makes a lot of sense. So I am putting four teaspoons of curry powder in here, some salt, some pepper, and I'm going to mix this all in here and taste it. I might end up adding a little more curry. I'm not sure. Some people don't care for curry, so I don't want to overpower it, but um, 
that's what's in the recipe. So we're gonna give it a go. Ooh, it's a nice color. Let's see. I'm gonna take a little taste. really good. I am going to put a little bit more in there. That's about one more teaspoon. Okay. That is our dressing. Mayonnaise, sour cream, lemon juice, curry, and salt and pepper. Now let's see if I can mix this in here without making a gigantic mess. So if you can make this several hours or even the day before, my family potluck is tomorrow. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge until tomorrow. And that way, you know, like most things, soups, stews, most uh, cream-based salads, letting it sit overnight or for several hours makes a huge difference. So I'm going to get this all stirred up and then I'm gonna come back and show you. We're gonna have a little taste before I stick it in the fridge until tomorrow. So I got my Icelandic potato salad, cartoffel salat, <laughs> cartoffel salat, um, all done. And it's gonna go in the fridge until tomorrow. I added a little bit more salt and pepper to the top and let's give it a try. Make sure I get a couple of pieces of apples in my taste. Ugh, and the curry just smells absolutely divine. Oh, mmm, really good. You know what really stands out is the lemon. We had this dish a couple of times. It was served to us the first time when we ordered some lamb chops in a restaurant. And that was the one that had the sweet pickle. And um, then the next time, I forget where we had it the second time, but that's when we had it with the dill. I liked both of them, but this, the, the kind of tangy dill with the sweet apple, it's a really nice combination. So there you have it. Icelandic potato salad for Tasty Tuesday. I hope you'll try this recipe. Come back next week, I'm gonna show you another recipe we are going to do fiskebule, which is Icelandic fish cakes, fish balls, whatever you want to call it, uh, often made with cod or any white fish. And I'm going to show you how to make them. They're super easy and they're really, really good. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.